Welcome back to Mr. and Mrs. Smith channel and in today's video we are going to attempt or I am going to attempt to install a bidet. So what is a bidet? A bidet according to Google is a basin used for cleaning yourself after using the bathroom. That's the decent way to, use, to say it. Bidet is mostly commonly used or bidets are commonly used in Europe, Asia, and South America. So if you ever traveled internationally, you've probably seen a bidet. So I am going to attempt to install that today since Mr. Smith is not home. So anyway, let's get started. And before that, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanted to see a lot of how-to's, travel, cooking, design, and maybe health in our video, in our channel, please hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. In this installation, we will need a wrench, plumbing tape, a basin, or a bowl, and of course our handheld bidet. To start, turn off the water supply valve for the toilet. It's located at the wall and flush the toilet by holding down a handle to completely empty the tank. Make sure you do it twice to completely empty the water. And also put the basin underneath to catch any excess water that will drip from the valve. Next, disconnect flexible water supply line directly under the toilet tank. Here are the parts that are included in the handheld bidet package that we bought at Lowe's. Um, comes with the bidet, sprayer head, T-valve with shut off, flat rubber washer, a spiral metal bidet hose, and the sprayer holster with mounting screws. This is if you wanted to screw it on the wall. Oh, I remember this blue snap that snap out of the valve. I thought you just pull it out and it'll come off. But no, you have to unscrew it. I believe counterclockwise or clockwise. I have no idea. Finally came off. Next, put the flat rubber washer inside the top of the T-valve. Make sure you put your plumbing tape on first before you tighten everything up.
Make sure you leave some room and not so tight. Then connect the T-valve at the toilet tank and reconnect the flexible water supply line to the bottom of the T-valve. Be sure not to over tighten connections. Then attach one end of the spiral metal bidet hose to the open end of the T-valve and the other end to the bidet sprayer head. Then mount the sprayer holster. There are two choices. You can mount it on the toilet by attaching the sprayer holster piece to toilet mount piece using small screw that's included and hang the mount on the side of the toilet in desired location. Or you can wall mount it using only the sprayer holster piece find appropriate spot on the wall near toilet and use screw which is included to attach the holster to the wall i chose to mount it on the toilet seats because i don't want to drill any hole on our wall then finally turn water supply valve back on at the wall and check for leaks using plumber safe when necessary. Wait five minutes and check again. If no leaks, then you are done. Get to enjoy your new bidet. To operate, open the T valve to allow water to flow to the bidet sprayer head. Direct the handheld bidet ah. sprayer head in the appropriate direction oh my God. and press the button to release the water mistake. wash. I sprayed our wall. <laughs> oh, I now I have to wipe it. Oh my gosh. So make sure 
before you turn that knob down below that this oh hang on that this is is pushed forward not backwards like that all right it has to be forward okay and that's off on is backwards off is forward okay i think it works so let's try it again all right and then make sure this is off again <laughs> first big mistake big mistake so it's off now and then we're going to turn the knob Sure. All right, it looks like it's working, and we're gonna spray the. This is the toilet. Woo! Make sure you control, and you can actually control the flow of the water. So if you push it further back, it's actually the strongest. Help <laughs> spray your entire bathroom. So it looks like it works. <sighs> Yay! Make sure that we got everything cleaned up and I installed our bidet. Hi, <sighs> so I guess it works. <laughs> so the instruction said that to make sure you turn the knob off here at the bottom every time that you're not using it and um, turn it back on once you're ready to use it again just to avoid, um, I think, the pressure of the water um, getting into um, this portion of it <sighs> so there you have it guys we have a bidet now in our bathroom so I don't have to worry about fetching water to wash or worry about toilet paper as we all know that we are scarce toilet paper <laughs> nowadays so Anyway, thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in my next how-to. I'll see you guys later. Bye.